Hi peoples, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender, and today I'm making a ready fire aim. This cocktail's been on my list for way too long and I've been waiting to get some of the Bitterman's Habanero Shrub. So it's a shrub, it has apple cider vinegar, uh, it's got some red wine in there, red wine vinegar, sorry, um, citric acid and elderberries, habanero pepper, paprika, vanilla, salt, and of course alcohol. Uh, so this one sits at 44%. And packs a little bit of a punch, a bit of spice. I'm not gonna taste that much, but. For someone that, <laughs> that doesn't have a lot of spice, um, yeah, it's a bit of heat in that. It's good, it's delicious, it's good flavor though. Uh, so Ready Fire Aim, this one is made by Steve Snyder, uh, a fellow Steve the bartender. There was actually a documentary written about him, or sorry, a, a feature film about him. So I'll, I'll see if I can find a link, maybe on YouTube or something, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So Steve Snyder is uh, one of the partners at Employees Only in New York. These flavors on paper, work exceptionally well. So mezcal, a little bit of smoke, some vegetable notes to it. Um, well, I, I read up about the legal mezcal, which is a woven mezcal, meaning a, a young mezcal, like unaged. It's meant to have notes of uh, green apple, fruit, citrus, and white pepper. So those particular flavors work really well with pink pepper, which is in my syrup here, which I'll, I'll delve into a little bit later. Um, pineapple, uh, and then pineapple juice and the, the spice. So smoke, spice, pineapple, hands down, wicked flavor combination. To start the cocktail, I'll measure 52.5 mil, one and three quarter ounce of your preferred mezcal. And we have a honey pineapple. Very dirty looking syrup. Very what? A dirty looking Yes, as, as my wife's pointed out in the background, this is a pretty murky looking syrup. Uh, it is honey, pineapple, and pink pepper. I'll leave the recipe to this in the description below, but essentially I've just um, used a mortar and pestle to crush up some pink pepper, which is not really a spicy, peppery kind of note. It's more like an earthy characteristic to it. And I've combined that with um, pineapple, mushed up with pineapple, and added honey syrup and left that in the fridge overnight. Uh, and I've done, a, again, a really poor job of, of straining it. I've just strained it through a, a fine strainer as opposed to like a, a coffee filter or something like that. So you, there's still little parts of pink pepper in this, but it tastes really good. 30 ml, one ounce of honey pineapple syrup and pineapple juice. Just give this a little bit of a swirl. 22.5 ml, three quarter ounce fresh pineapple juice, and three dashes of Bitterman's Hellfire Habanero Shrub. So that is 20 drops, roughly. 10 drops to a dash. So that's two dashes. A little bit more. That was roughly 30 drops. I could have counted it, I know. And then 15 ml, half an ounce of fresh lime juice. I have been very keen to make this cocktail for a very long time. Add ice and shake for 12 or 15 seconds. and double strained into a chilled coop. Oh, I can smell that shrub, a little bit of smoke, and the garnish on this one calls for pink pepper. Just a little bit sprinkled over the top. Probably be better to use a grinder of some description. I've used the mortar and pestle and not that fine. Could look better than that, but you probably can't see it on camera, so I shouldn't have said anything. They have a ready fire aim. Cheers.
Cheers. Kind of that uh, bit of a grassiness from the, the mezcal or maybe even green apple. Uh, and then you get that sort of acidic kind of pop from the, the shrub. Yum. This is an excellent way to showcase mezcal. The, the pineapple, the honey, the honey is actually really quite light. I, I thought it'd be a little bit more prominent. But you get this earthy characteristic from the pink pepper, which is very welcome. The one thing I might change is probably the mezcal and maybe just try for something a little bit smokier. But it works really well. All those honey notes are coming through. It was a tasty cocktail. Hope you guys get to try this one at home. If you like today's video, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. Two dashes. Three. <laughs> yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> it's not like, ooh. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. It's my eyes are watering a little bit. I feel the heat now in my, my chest. Ah. <sighs>